<laughs> so guys welcome to another episode of political entertainment this is where we talk about issues that are not important in our lives so there was a very interesting exchange in parliament last week between the minister of technology science and technology and the eff member dr mbuisen <laughs> this is how the interaction went Minister, um, the point of order, I cannot see who it is. Um, Honourable Ndlozi, what is your point of order? Yeah, with respect, uh, Honourable Deputy Speaker, the Honourable Member read the original question again, literally, word by word. She repeated, word by word, the original question which appears in the question paper. She doesn't have a follow-up. Yeah. Honourable Ndlozi, um, it's wrong. We are not Honourable Ndlozi, please yeah. take your chair. <laughs> This is sit down, man. <laughs> I do love us more. Please take your chair. Please take your love seat. Us more, Roman. <laughs> Thank you very much, uh, Honorable uh, Madam Speaker. We shall end our own wrong in Akubu's interest. This place that is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, this is where the EFF drew the lines because Blade in Zimande is basically saying that Dr. Mbuisen Ndlozi is sitting at a wrong place. He is not even supposed to be sitting there. So I think he talks about the fact that Mbuisen Ndlozi is still with the EFF. Mbuisen Ndlozi is supposed to follow his comrades to the MK party. So the EFF started hating Blade in Zimande after he said this. About to be so close, Madam Speaker. We shall end our own wrong in Akubuzi in this nonsense. Jack Fanel and Abu Sakhil love. This place that is wrong. One banning. So he's basically asking Bussin and Josie, When are you leaving the EFF? One banning here. Honorable. In a night. In a night. In a night. And just look at the reaction of Mbuisen and Lozman. Blading Zimande is saying, you are sitting at a wrong place. You are not even supposed to be sitting there. This is why you are asking us stupid questions. When are you leaving? When are you leaving? When are you following <laughs> your comrades? You can hear the people behind Mbuisen and Lozman saying, oh, humba, we are meaning that where, what do you mean where he's going? He's going nowhere. <laughs> I I found the reaction of Mbuisen Ndlozi to be something else. The man was not even saying that, what the hell are you talking about? I am not leaving the EFF. I stay here in the EFF. Just look at how Mbuisen Ndlozi reacted. And we know that Mbuisen Ndlozi is someone who normally punches back. When you punch Mbuisen Ndlozi, he's going to come and punch you 10 times. But now, Blade in Zimande is simply asking a simple question. When are you leaving? Ushelenda wena wrong in Akubuzi in this nonsense. Jack Fanel and Abu Sakhil love. This place that is wrong. Wamba Nin. Wamba Nin. Honorable. In a night. In a night. I mean, just look at Ubizeli Jose pretending like he didn't hear. Blade is Monday asking him. <laughs> Where are you? When are you leaving? <laughs> when are you leaving? <laughs> Man, and the EFF will never recover from what Floyd Ndlozi did. Man. You remember last week, <laughs> Gideon McKenzie said what Floyd, what Floyd Shivambu left inside the EFF, it is not a vacuum. Floyd Shivambu did not leave a space inside the EFF. He left the whole Kimberley mine. <laughs> this is what is happening. <laughs> <laughs> when are you leaving? <laughs> Blade's Monday was on fire, man. I'm telling you. 
Bladies this Monday was on fire that <laughs> when are you leaving? <laughs> You are busy asking us stupid things. <laughs> you are sitting there. You are not even supposed to be sitting there. Maybe, maybe, just maybe, Blade in Zimande has an intel about Mbuisen Ndlozi leaving the EFF. And why is Mbuisen Ndlozi, like you would say Mbuisen Ndlozi looks like a cat that has been thrown with water. <laughs> Ushelenda when I wrong, you can't go see in this mess. I can't find any of such things. This place that is wrong. Who am I in? Who am I in here? Honorable. In the night. In the night. In the night. Honorable. Honorable. Honorable Minister. When? I mean, when did Mbuisen Ndlozi become like that, man? Mbuisen Ndlozi is a fighter. I'm telling you, Mbuisen Ndlozi is a fighter, man. Mbizanilo is a fighter. You remember how hard he fought with Gated McKenzie on the state of, of the of the union. For him to just sit down and not even act when Blade is saying you are sitting there, that's why you are asking us stupid questions. So when are you leaving? <laughs> He's just like <laughs> Guys, to and I love this side of politics, man. I love this side of politics. <laughs> so the EFF today, <laughs> the EFF, they were not happy about the fact that Bladen Zimande said that to their comrade. So of course they are going to refer to Bladen Zimande as a useless minister. And I want you to watch the chaos that is about to ensue. <laughs> the EFF. No, thank you very much, uh, Chairperson, Commander-in-Chief uh, Julius Silomalema, the officials of the EFF. We present this declaration. And apparently this guy, this guy that is always seen with Julius Malema, he is in the leading front for the Deputy President of the EFF. This is what they are saying, is, is this guy and... That guy who is always fighting Gaten McKenzie, that guy with a big hair, Sinawatambo, I think these people are in the leading front for the deputy president of the EFF. Sin, Commander-in-Chief uh, Julius Silomalema, the officials of the EFF, we present this declaration in the absence of the useless minister <laughs> who is forever absent in our committees and is presently and evidently absent now. Please, can we note that and may we take record of that minister? Honorable member. The department <laughs> Honorable member at the podium, <laughs> will you just take your seat, please? Why do you want to be recognized, honorable member? Yeah, Chair, I'm raising on Rule 82. The Honourable Member is referring, to, is saying the Minister is, is useless. So can you rule on that, Chair? Because obviously he's referring to the Minister of the Department of Science and Innovation. Honourable Member, which Minister are you referring to? I'm referring to the useless one, the one who... <laughs> Which minister are you referring to? I'm referring to the useless one, the one who's not useful. Please withdraw that <laughs> remark. But which one? You made which, a rem you which made, one? You, I didn't mention any name. You made a remark against the yes, minister. I'm saying it's useless. There's a report currently in front of us. On a point of order. And no, I will recognize you now, honorable member. But honorable member, will you withdraw the remark, please? I've, you, got, I've got nothing to withdraw, Chair. Then <laughs> <laughs> they are taking it personal man. they are taking it personal how can blade blade is monday ask when is he going to leave the party <laughs> they are taking it personal <laughs> and now it's an all-out war <laughs> and you must take your seat honorable member no on a no. point of order che on a point of order no, I'm dealing with this honorable member at the podium. No, 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 no. On a point of order, no, no. 
on a point of order. No, I'll come to you. I'll come to you, Honorable Malema. But I'm on that point where you want to make I'm a ruling. A <laughs> <laughs> I think one of the things that is actually frustrating, especially to Julius Malem, like the speakers lately, it's almost as if they are not taking him seriously. And Julius Malema used to be someone that when he would be um, aggressive in a microphone, they would actually pay attention to him and be like, okay, what point are you rising on, Julius Malem? But this guy, specifically this guy, I think this is the same person who once muted Julius Malema, so they still have their own beef happening. So Julius Malema is saying, this guy is not going to ignore me, <laughs> like how he ignored me when Gatine McKenzie called me a cockroach. I am not going to allow him to ignore me this time around. <laughs> I want to make an input raise, on that point. You cannot raise a point of order when I'm already dealing with a point of order. You have made a ruling. Why are you must, not making a ruling without listening to us? You must, you must wait until I deal with this matter and then I'll recognize you. No, Honor Chair. The Honorable Member at the podium. <laughs> Chairperson, if there is a point of order, it must be entertained. You can't just rule no, Honorable you Member, to entertain it. There was a point of order raised in terms of what you said. Yes. So I'm dealing with that matter now and I'm asking you to withdraw the remark so that you can continue with your declaration. Okay, Chairperson. Thank you. The Department of Science and uh, the Department of Science, Technology and Innovation withdraw. <laughs> he is not withdrawing it. He is not. <laughs> he is not going to withdraw. <laughs> he is not going to withdraw. Chief, is it order, honourable members? Is the order. key institution whose main aim is to boost the country's socio-economic development through research and innovation, which should be among the order. key drivers of job creation, honorable. reduction order, of honorable poverty. Members. Order, order, calm down, calm down, honourable members. Yes, Honourable Member, why do you want to be recognized again? Yeah, Honourable Chair, the Honourable Member has not withdrawn and we have instructed him no, to... The, hon the, honorable member, the Honourable Member has responded to me. Please proceed, Honourable Member. Please, ma. <laughs> no, or, thank, on, thank honor you. Honourable Members, if any one of you want to come and chair the session, then you may do so, right? We want the proceedings in the House to continue. I've dealt with the matter. And if any further work needs to be done, the table staff here is here to assist. But in the meantime, we'll continue with the declaration. Please continue. Thank you very much, Chair. Which should be the key drivers of job creation, reduction of poverty, elimination of inequality, and curbing of unemployment as envisaged by the 2019 White Paper on Science, Technology, and Innovation. Though the report in question makes this commitment through its long-term objectives and policy direction outlined in the STI decadal plan. It, however, falls short of a clear implementation plan on how to achieve what it seeks to achieve within a specific time frame. For example, it does not clearly outline how it intends to adequately address the misalignment between the skills acquired and the productive needs of the industry. In all scenarios, Chairperson, when this mismatch between the skills acquired and job market economic needs occurs, it often results in more joblessness, poverty, thus undermine the livelihoods of South African citizens. In our intervention, uh, it is not if, if our intervention is not geared towards closing this gap and identification of skills required by the economy, we will find ourselves pouring money into developing skill sets that will later on not be absorbed by the economy. The projected decline in the budget allocation in 2025-2026 should activate the department's alternative plan to utilize its strategic allies and partners. The underachievement of the department in the core areas such as Program 4 of research, development and support, and general challenges where it exceeded projected expenditure in areas such as Program 1 administration must be avoided going forward. There is a huge misalignment between the economic policy and the developmental research 
a, a, a plan with this uh, report that has been presented here as the EFF we reject it and uh, we've rejected today we'll reject it even tomorrow thank you very much so I actually let Vianne speak because guys when you look at Vianne Pamo do you think he's going to be a good deputy president of Julius Malema in the EFF what do you think about Vianne Pambo? I'm looking at him and this is what actually is, is, is going on in my mind that if this guy becomes the deputy president of the EFF, is he going to do a good work? Are people going to love him? Because right now, people always see him with Julius Malema. I, I know some people who, who hate the EFF are saying he is the handbag of Julius Malema. So would it be wise if the structures of the EFF would actually elect someone like that. What do you think about Vianne Pombo? Do you think he's going to be a good deputy president of the EFF, especially to the EFF supporters, if if they are going to come and watch? <laughs> because the EFF supporters always say that I hate their political party, but they can see now that, man, I'm even siding with Julius Malema, especially with what Floyd Shivambu is doing. <laughs> I'm siding with Julius Malema. So the the fighters, what do you think about Vianne Pombo? What do you think about Vianne Pombo? Do you think it's going to be a good deputy president? I don't know, guys. Please tell me what you think on the comment section. Don't forget to hit that like button. And the most important part, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. My name is Thomas Mabaso. I will see you next time. Guys, this is nothing serious. Please, 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 please. This is nothing serious, guys. We are going to the festive season. Can we just not, you know... <laughs> raise our blood pressures can we try to laugh sometimes this is nothing serious this is just political entertainment i will see you next time bye bye